my friend Patricia's coming after a really long trip from Paris. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just greet her with like big steaming bowls of chili? But since she's being really good, I thought maybe I, instead of making beef chili, I'd make chicken chili. So I've got about four cups of onions and two tablespoons of olive oil, and they've cooked until you can really smell them. About 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna add lots of good stuff. Two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Mmm, this is gonna be really good. I want to cook the garlic for just a minute so it doesn't get really bitter. And two yellow peppers and two red peppers. This is a really quick way to cut peppers, just straight down. And then what's left over you can use for snacking. And I'm just gonna do big chunks. I think chili should be big chunks of good stuff. So, peppers. Okay, now all the good spices. First thing, of course, is chili powder. So I've got a teaspoon of chili powder. A teaspoon of cumin, which is a really essential ingredient in all chilies. And then these are the things that make it hot. Red pepper, just sort of a pinch of it, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, and then cayenne pepper, which is really hot. So use it at your own risk. I like when things have a lot of flavor and a little bit of heat, but if you like it really hot, just add more. So, two teaspoons of salt. This is great. And I'm gonna cook that for about a minute while I get the tomatoes ready. I always make this with canned tomatoes. Life's too short to peel a tomato. So I'm just gonna chop them up really quickly. I'm going to put in two 28-ounce cans of tomatoes. Try not to get it all over the kitchen like I do. <laughs> and into the sauce. Mm. Give it a stir. So most chili has cilantro in it, but I personally hate cilantro, so I'm gonna put basil in instead. It gives it great flavor. Just take the leaves off. And just give it a really rough chop. So maybe about a quarter of a cup should be good. Wonderful. Mm, so it's gonna cook for about 30 minutes. So this is a chicken that I cooked on the bone with the skin on it, and it really keeps it moist. I just tested all different kinds of ways of doing this, and I found it's so much better roasting it than it is to boil it the way you normally do it for a chicken like this. Patricia's on a book tour for her new book, Provence, and I can't wait to see it. So just sort of tear it off the bone with your hands. It's the best way to do it. Big chunks. I want it to be really delicious and chunky. Right into the pot. And just stir it around. This is gonna cook for about 20 minutes so all the flavors get into the chicken. The chili, cumin, basil, tomatoes. Mm. So we got all kinds of toppings. Cheese, oh, tomatoes. I want cheese. I want cheese. A little sour cream. Yeah. I have a little sour cream. Gorgeous. Some chips. Did you just create this like in the in the shower one morning <laughs> or something? Well, you know, I always make beef chili, and I just right. thought, wouldn't it be healthier if I made chicken chili? So mm -hmm. I just put chicken in instead. Brilliant. It's been uh, brilliant. been one of Jeffrey's favorites.